Hello everybody. I thought I would um, do some envelopes today and just, just speak a little bit about how I go about it. I usually, you know, get the journal, get my envelopes and then I decide what I'm going to do, you know, with the colours. And then I will go, normally, this is my scraps of tissues, so I, I'm going to delve into that first to try and find anything that will match sort of you know tonal or anything with what what's on here yeah and also similar to that one you know but it's again it's very similar so I'm going to sort of go down those lines really and I usually put that in in front of me somewhere right so I can actually sort of keep looking at the colors yeah while I'm doing it um, I got my scrap back bag rather of bits and pieces that I I go to first, yeah, to pick bits and pieces for the envelopes if we want to do some decoupage. Um, I get a few. I haven't got much fabric here, but there's some scrappy bits. I don't even know what that is. I wanted that actually, so that's um, the vellum will be all right. I'll put that in there. Right. Okay. So. Do you see what I do? I just get bits to correspond, you know, with this. Okay, and there's a lighter blue here, which I have got my bag where I've already sorted out things, yeah, if I need to go to. So that's my bag of little bits. I try to use my little bits up first, yeah, but might not even use fabric. I don't know. I want to keep, keep them quite quite simple if I can <laughs> today because I tend to sort of go and you know delve in and I actually quite feel like leaving them fairly plain but uh, well, well we'll see and um, there's a video on me doing these envelopes you know the, um, tea staining them okay and that's the results of the ones I've done there's no blue or anything on these ones I've picked though but that's okay that's the ones I feel like doing um, what else I do? Oh yeah, and I get a little tray with bits from the kit. I also put these in here because I shrunk them, well, shrunk them right down. That's upside down actually, but I shrunk them right the way down to cut out because I wanted some dinky ones. And I've got some stamps that are sort of all again bits of glue, bits. Sort of this colour, which again is more like the tea stain, yeah. A bit of washi tape, which got a bit of blue in, which I love this bit here. Um, that ticket one there, I've got the Tim Holtz one there, and I've got the one that I keep using, what I love, because I love that tone of that one, similar to that, so. Um, what else have I got? Yeah, all the little butterflies I've got. I've um, got some Tracy Fox tickets. It's my tickets, my tickets. And bits of paper that has been gessoed and tea stained and whatever. <laughs> yeah, so I've got little bits in here. and I, I, I mean, I've got a massive box. But this one, I first of all, I put in the butterflies and everything from the kit which and these little things that I've cut out. They're all here somewhere in the tickets from the kit. So I put those in. Oh, the yellow flower there, I don't know what that's doing there, but never know. Yeah, so I put, cut all them out and I also shrink some of them down as well. Then I add little snippets of different things from my scrap pack, yeah? Which I've got a big tray, loads of little different things in, a little, tiny little envelope there. Just again, a bit of tea bag. Yeah, and they're from the kit as well. So they all go in first and then odd little bits go on the top. And I try to limit this, yeah. If I've got a big, too big a box around me, then I just keep, I spend so much time looking for it rather than doing. So I just get what I need in the tray from the kit. Then I'll grab a bat, then I'll grab a load of bits and pieces on here. Pick out what I think looks good, you know, so I won't bink. I won't put any purple in or things like that, but I'll do pink and blue and, and the tea stainy look and I'll pick out those all and then I, they go in my little tray. 
Oh yeah, it looks like Anne's have picked out some of this because I've got a blue one there of Tim Holtz and I love this, these alphabets and it looks quite bluey as well. So any of these I love. So they're all go. Yeah, I don't even know whether I'll use it. But So what should we do next? We've done the coffee stain in. Um, I might not even gesso. I'm not sure actually. tell you what I'm going to do first I think is stamp it yeah so quite fancy a bit of a swirl design on this side of the page I'm just thinking about yeah here and then maybe a bit of napkin I'm just going to do that first and something on here I quite fancy a design here which I picked a stamp out for that all right which is Oh, I've got the swirl that I quite like. Got that one there. I don't know where that comes from. Oh, that's, um, I mean, 50p I paid for that look. Air ambulance. Um, oh, this. I thought that would sit in, in there quite nicely. Yeah, just for a change. If I remember. <laughs> mm, I quite, yeah, I quite like that flower, actually. I don't know what stamp company that is at all. That's the one I got from Car Boot, but there yeah, oh, I've got text. As you know, I use the I use the Spellbinders one. Um, I've got the Stampers Anonymous butterflies, but I'll use those. Most probably won't use Paris, and I've got those butterflies as well. And I've also got the pipe those. Yeah. I've got a lot to choose from, but I, I might use one of them. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I picked out, you can't really see that, but I picked out that, it looks quite nice. These are from, I think, um, the Scottish lady, Sheen. Um, not Sheen, Douglas. Hold on a minute, because that's annoying me now. I was, I was right, I think they're from this sort of thing. Yeah, Sheena Douglas. I've had these a long time, so I'm not 100% sure because I've not even ever used that. So whether they are with this, but they are in the same tub with all these stamps. So I'm presuming there's one of these. <laughs> I actually bought them, those big ones, to help me learn to paint and draw flowers. But do you know what? I haven't done it, but I'm going to because I really want to learn how to paint flower or just draw it really I'm all, all right with um, pencil drawings of flowers but as soon as I add paint I go a bit I don't know it's a bit funny <laughs> you don't look like a flower anymore <laughs> but then my faces used to be like that too so yes all right so I haven't even tried these so I will stamp those out on a spare bit of paper and I actually that yeah there's quite a few little elements on here that might work yeah, it's quite nice too. Right, there, yeah, so I need, oh, and, and of course, my little pot where I have my postage stamps and things. Stamps. Which I will get out, because I use that with these. So crafty individuals. I haven't even opened that. I've got to cut it up. That's why I haven't opened it. <laughs> right. I had... Uh, where did that stamp go? Sorry, I had um, the actual stamp company. Oh, Bow Bunny, wasn't it? Postal stamps. Yeah. Not sure that's it there. Okay, that's the... Bow Bunny one, all right? So yeah, because I, the first one I got is actually, which I didn't know at the time, a counterfeit one, okay? And then um, someone advised me, they do the, you know, the Bow Bunny done them, so of course I went and got it, because you know what I'm like on that. But yes, I got get caught out too. Luckily I found the original, so, so I'll use those as well. 
them in there. So it's all my little bits. See, look. It's that one. They really did. And, and they even copied the size, look. Ah, <gasps> so bad. Oh. But it does get me. Anyway, I'll put those under there. Put the side of me. And I'll put them in as well. <laughs> but I won't use them. I've got to cut them up. <laughs> Right, yep, so swirl here, yeah, I'm going to do that big swirl first, I think, I mean, I could heat and boss it and everything, but I don't think I will today, sometimes I might, you can go into such depth, can't you, doing these things, and which I do, I just make sure that they're all right way up. Um, but you can go on forever, so I think sometimes it's actually nice just to limit yourself. I do need a block for that. Okay, I've chosen my stamps. Yeah, I've got this swirly one here, which, which I thought I would do a bit of stamping with. And I quite fancy, if that swirl is like I think it is there, there'll be sort of gaps. And I thought one of these, without a stem, yeah, could fill the gaps. And also these words, yeah, just for a background. So because I'm practicing with the stamp or using it, because I, I haven't used it before, I will make a background with it, yeah. And I've got a plain piece of card. It's tea stain, I think. No, that is white. It's not cream. I didn't know whether it was a cream base, but it's white. Okay. So I will do that, and, and for practice, before I do the envelopes, I, I'll use VersaFine. Okay. Instead of just randomly stamping a piece of paper, I thought I might as well create something with it after. <laughs> okay, right, I'm going to get that first because I want to put the rows here and there and then I'll come off a bit more with some of those actually it could be here about the garden I mean I'm not saying I'm going to use these tags in that journal but more than likely because you can adapt them let's have a look see if they're going to fit in there quite nice I quite like that small one actually yeah that's good so I'm going to use that. That's um, you saw what the designs for that was. That was AOZ. She makes journals and everything. She's got a YouTube channel and her stamps are beautiful. And these are all her own as well. She does watercolours. Absolutely. Oh, just love it. Absolutely lovely. Right, I need a different um, block. If I use that one. I have no idea where oh, where all my little ones have gone. You know that I think they they actually get eaten up. That'd be alright. That's some words, so I'll put those in there. Oh gosh, clarity stamps. I remember getting them years ago. Peeled off the things so I can use it though. <laughs> alright, let's get some ink on there because I have no which no idea. Let's oh, come over a little tiny bit. should stamp properly really sorry yeah. <laughs> teaching you bad habits oh, such a clear Man, this would look nice on vellum wouldn't it 
go the other way. So I need to go that way. And come up. Then I'm going to do some more swirls. I'm not even onto the envelopes yet. <laughs> oh dear. Turn the stamp here. Yeah. Right, so we can have a flower here. Should look nice on that. Let's do that now. Oh, let's do it properly. All right, because that flower's going there. I'm doing pointing that one up that way. Yeah. I will come here. I am thinking about this one. <laughs> that. And also, we can come down here as well. limit ourselves in sp <laughs> with space though um, yeah I think we can go down yeah we want to catch that there that's it don't have to do another flower then like that okay another another swirl there and a swirl up there I think that's about right go right so I've got used to the stamp plus now I've got a background too yeah oh should we put those words on so I'm not going to actually I'll tell you why I'm not going to I can always do it later once I've cut them up you know I don't know which way and in this way it can be whatever but if we start putting words on it needs to be sort of the right way up but yeah so that's practice with the stamp and we've got a background Okay, I just need a new square bit here. All right, so I am going to heat emboss it, I think, with gold. Oh, I'll put it the other way, actually. That is my um, printer. It, oh, I couldn't, when I um, reset it, I kept printing out these silly pages. I found out in the end, I couldn't remember where it was to stop it from printing out the startup thing telling me how many sheets I <laughs> printed <laughs> lovely right so I'm going to clean this because I'm using Versamark so it doesn't doesn't you don't have to but you get your ink pad nice and mucky and I think mine's fairly good at the moment and I've got one that's disgusting so I'm sure I picked up the, the newish one dry as well. Right, so I'm going to do all the same. Yeah. So we're not going to be all the same when they're finished, but I just fancy doing it in that, in that corner stamp and then some decoupage. Yeah, it's going to be like that. Okay, oh, I meant to show you the other envelopes that I've picked out the journal I'm doing. I've got that one there. It's got a bit of blue on as well. 
top loading one. This one was, was going to be a flip thing. And that's the two, in case I want to do pocket or flip out of those. So I've picked them out for a later date. Now I'm wondering again. <laughs> As you do. feel that sticky actually and yeah that's a new one right make sure they're the right way up and how the stamp wants to be I think like that do I want all of it no I don't I want it to come off the page so I'm going to place it about there And some embossing powder. Now I mix mine with a bit of sparkle. It's a very flat gold. And then I just put a hint of sparkle in it, which I'll show you that in a minute. Oh, these there's no most probably that company where I got those from are, are gone. Okay, because that was a long time ago I had that. Yeah, this verse mark. Um oh, I should put talcum powder on it really. Right, um, The Mercer mark is quite dry. That's a bit annoying. I have got a re-inker, but I don't know where it is at the moment. Okay, let's see if I can pick a bit more up on there. Yeah, a tiny bit patchy, but that is the actual ink pad. This one, and then I'll do the other two off camera because you don't need to do, see everyone. I did make sure that's right. that one I am going to dust with talcum powder to stop any static really okay. make sure it's the right way up and we'll stamp again might do slightly different way I put the stamp on up. This is where you can beat it up. <laughs> Get rid of your frustrations. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go like that. Did I? Oh, right, they're all done. Okay. And then I'm going to use this one. Okay, because I want that in there. Yeah? But I'll just use a piece of paper for a mask. Oh, they're falling off. And I might put some words in this one down here. I think that'll look nice. Different little sentiment in there. But we'll just see how everything goes first. All right, let's do this one first. Get a piece of paper. Okay. 
better put that away because it'll blow everywhere. That was me. I want to. I want to heat. Use the heat gun. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little tiny bit patchy over there, but that's all right, because we're going to decorate anyway, so. Okay, well, hopefully next one's a little bit better. Yeah, because I will, you know, we can put something just there and coming up here, so that will work. That's fine. Don't worry about that. Shut that. All right, let's do the other one. Okay, so definitely got better as they went along. Yep, oh, better put that away. Right, bit of decoupage now, I think. Or should we, no, a bit of tech stamping, I think. And then decoupage. Okay, they're all done, so let's get on with tech stamping. I'm going to use this Spellbinders one. I quite like it because the text is all over the place and I've got my numbers in case I want them <laughs> all right let's have a look okay. um, I'm using are fine because I'm not don't think I'm adding any water to this so all right just make sure that is the right way oh, right way up yes. Andrea wake up please <laughs> stamp over and I'm using vintage sepia Okay, stamp is going to go there, you see, and then I might have something down here. So that looks okay. And then. Stamp there, just want a bit over there, I think. There we go, that's that three down. I don't like to handle them too much, all right, because it takes, Versafine, I think, takes a little while to dry. So I'll just give them a quick blast. Okay, let's carry on. Um, why I've chosen these is pop of blue, because I've got um, a fairly neutral color in the background, I'll do my pops of color with postage stamps a bit of fabric or something like that if it's colorful then I keep to plain you know I would go for like a brown that you know I'd go for that sort of thing yeah even though it still looks nice but that's how I'm bringing the blue into things right oh I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna also stamp here okay oh I got little stamp memories there that I thought might fit there in there just fit in there and then I thought for here I would do the one that I said about with um, 
AOZ designs, which are, which would be, sorry, <laughs> um, falling into bloom in the other two because that's a nice, quite a nice gap and it fits in there lovely. So I've done that. Right, I think I'll do that now before I do the stamps because I will forget. Okay, let's do that one first. I think better do it that way. Falling into bloom. Oh, what's she going to come up there? That's fine. Okay, that stands out quite nicely. That's that one done. All right, let's put that one back in. And I did ink them up a little bit, all right? Just Let's okay, give them a second to dry. Yeah, and then we'll go over with so there. Maybe do two on that one. I don't know why. There we go. Quite like doing two. Take them off a minute. Actually, I'm going to use black for that one. Okay, you know what I forgot to do? <laughs> the blacks. <laughs> There's some text stamping. Alright, so I'll get on and do that. It didn't take long to do that. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, right, now for decorating. Um, sometimes I've got all snippets made up, but I haven't today, so I'm going to just do them. Right, I'm going to ink up first, okay. I've used, I've still got a bit on here that I want to use. I think I'm going to use tea. 
I've got a bit of vintage photo, so the first bit's going to be a bit dark, all right? Just a bit of tea. I could rub a bit off, actually. Let's see. on there looks all right to me and I like to do this bit as well it's just me and if they start falling apart like that don't worry just put a bit on Put a bit of glue on, stick it down. I like opening mine anyway, so not quite dry look. I haven't heat set that yet. Okay, all right, let's go for a bit of napkin then. All right, I use the Tim Holtz stuff. Oh, come off straight away. Quickness, oh, I must order some more. Love it. It's so good for, you know, doing quick things. You know, normally if I was just doing a load of decoupage or something, I would use PVA glue, you know, or anything large, yes. But anything small like this. I um I like to do I like to use it because it's quick. Right, let's have a look, see what we've got here. I get it all out. Let me put those stamps away, even though I might need them. Put that away. And let's get this out. Because I have no idea what's in here. I just saw some blue stuff. I've got I did that that one and that was my new one this I, these were gifted to me so and I thought that's absolutely beautiful on that oh do you know what that's got to go on there <laughs> that has got to go there without a doubt sorry wing I just oh, I've got a silly little brush <laughs> not got a white background this one but I think I'll just get away with it because it's quite coffee stained yeah or tea stained I should say right. it's the front of that one Let's see what we got left on here got a few of those but I don't want them all the same Nice. A bit of blue on the top there. And this one. Mm, let's have a look, see if we've got anything else. I've got autumn things in here. <laughs> put them out of the way. It's a bit purpley, isn't it? Um, still goes though, I think I'm going to use it. Let's go for it. It's so much better, isn't it, with the white background. Just totally disappears. But I did like that flower on those. A bit I took off here. I'm going to put that 
there. Um, I think that one's plenty enough on there. And that one. So dry those off and we can do the backs. Okay, they're all, all done and I just sanded them down a bit. Yeah, I do that because I like them so smooth there's a little bit lumpy in the middle there not too hard because if you do it too hard you go through <laughs> right so I think that's I say for those I do feel I need a butterfly here but I need a little one which I'll try and find one in a minute but I'm going to do the backs at the moment I've got a bit of a gap here but that's okay normally it would be a gap there for, for writing so I'm going to do this first and I thought just to introduce that bit of blue because if I put it in a journal, I'll show you what I mean. It's green. So I'm just saying that goes. like so I'll sit in there like that you see and then here we need something there so I thought if we do a bit of that paper tissue paper um, straight edge on the straight edge there yeah just a bit of that with a butterfly go there but if we put it at an angle it won't matter okay if we don't put it there yeah if I go and do that now which I feel that that's where it should be because I'm looking directly at it if we don't happen to do that then it looks a bit odd if we just have the envelope on a page or something all right so what I would do to stop that actually I need that there with that bit of white underneath because it's blue blue too much blue and then maybe do that okay so that's going to look okay like that and it's also going to look okay that way as well yeah that's what sort of determines what i do with it really that i can put on with a prick stick that's tissue paper I use, I get these off Amazon. Okay, I quite like those. They're not too cloggy, if you know what I mean. They're not too, they're very sticky and they stick really well, but they don't feel too tacky in your hand, which is the first one I've actually can say that I really like. Um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> lost my train of thought then. And if we wanted to, you can still sew this, you see, as we are in finished it and I'll just put that there and then I've already inked up the edges him like that yep. all right and then that creates a nice little tuck spot and also it's okay if it's just like that yeah so I'm going to looking at it Lends itself to something at the bottom. Here. Yeah, I'm going to put something down here. And maybe another bit of decoupage on there. But I wanted to do the flaps first. Yeah. Um, got any. Quite fancy that, to be honest. You know, I'm going to do it. Keep hoarding this washi tape. <laughs> Should I just put a bit of glue on? Can't use it. It's Tim Holtz. <laughs> it's... 
I think all British people are very protective over Tim Holtz's stuff. <laughs> and we know why, don't we? Yes. It's very rare we get it cheap. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it on sale. I expect it, it is, but I've never found it. You know what else I'm going to do, don't you? <laughs> I'm going to use a bit of spray. <laughs> I just want something blue. <laughs> oh no, Andrea. <laughs> what have you started? Perhaps it's just the water. Well, wow, it's a totally different tone. That's no good. Oh dear. That might be all right. <laughs> Which one's that? That's uh, water, mica, and a little bit of alcohol. Oh, I just want it really far away, though. <laughs> I just really do want something blue there. Let's cover you up. <laughs> and I'll do it from far away. Right. Oh, I'm liking that. <laughs> Ah, see, I could have put a bit of that there, look. A bit of washi tape there would have worked. I still might, actually. Let's have a look. I don't want too much, you see. Just want a little bit. Maybe there. I know when it's on the page you don't even see that, but it's just me. I just feel as though something is necessary there. Okay, I'm liking that. And then, guess what? I'm going to spritz inside now. Just a bit. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> over there. Yep, I feel so much better. Right, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stamp here, over stamp that. I just fancy something else there as well. Where's my numbers? I'm going to do that. Yeah. Right. Do I use black? Nope. I don't want to use black. <laughs> um, actually, I'm thinking because we've already got the dark brown there, haven't we? So, black it is. And just do that there. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's just that's made, you know, made, silly little thing like that. It's just made it, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Well, guess what? Because I really like this spray, I am going to do a bit on there as well. Okay, I'll just cover him up. Uh, it is so subtle, but it's just added something nice like that. There, and it opens out like that, which I like. So now we've got to sort out this bit. So, guess what? I'm going to put some on there like that. If you get too much heat on the embossing, it will flatten right out. Okay, now I'm happy, yeah? I mean, I really like this now. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Lovely job. Okay. I think the back is better than the front. <laughs> right, I know. I'm gonna it's because of this shape I don't I'm not keen on. So we need something else, don't we? I'm wondering. Yeah. 
Nope, that's not quite right. I think that is, do you see what I mean? It's just the way that it just looks silly to me. So I'm going to cut that off. Sorry, flower. And I will just glue stick that down. And I will go over with matte medium, okay? Not matte medium, the collage distressing when it's finished. Okay, just want to get rid of that. There. It's, I think it, what it is for me is the colour. Even though I really, really like this napkin. I do prefer the ones that are um, clear. Just perhaps that's everything down there, then, isn't it? It's just too big. Just too big. I'll come back to that in a minute. I'm going to leave that alone. It will come to me because I'm so happy with that bit there. That's great. And I'm not frightened of using those mica powders now on there. Um, actually, that one is fine. Bit of this. And that is fine. Like that. I may be a bit done now. Whether you can see that, it's really subtle, okay? All right, let's get on with this one. All right, let's get on with this one then. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is spritz it a little bit. Same colour. That, just like that. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Okay, um, I've got blue flower somewhere. I had a couple of these. Yeah, and I thought they would be quite nice there. So I'm going to use a prick stick for those for now. Like I said, I will go over them with the collage medium to protect them. Just to show you what I'm doing, I'll do that. I'll go over them quickly at the end. Like that, right. I've got a bit of blue which I thought went really well. So, but I don't ask too big. All right. Um, what have I got here? That's a bit big, isn't it? That might be quite nice. Just take that off. That there. Um, that have I got blue butterfly in it? Yes. No, I can't do that again. I've just done that. <laughs> oh, I need some of this. I think that's okay. And then tell me to do something there. I think that's great. That will do nicely. Right. That's my word of the day. That will do nicely. <laughs> At least I'm not saying proper job. That's a Cornish word. <laughs> and I've, now I've lost my glue. 
<laughs> I know I've got that one. That's okay. I can see that. <laughs> there. There's my bubble tack. Right. Okay. I'm going to have a little look round for that. Oh, it's on the floor. There you go. <laughs> See all these little bits, they come in handy, don't they? That's off the top of a note card, I think. <laughs> Just like the number. <laughs> I think we need something behind the butterfly. Um, a little bit of net, also, not net, but you know what I mean. Stuff I usually use. Wanted a lighter one, and get into a little bit. Okay, okay, good job, right, washi tape down here, <laughs> oh dear, well it is, I'm really, I'm a little bit nervous because my son is taking his driving test today, so yeah, I'm getting a bit agitated actually, because oh, I remember mine, I was absolutely petrified, yeah. right, okay, Washi tape, here we come. Oops. I'm trying to get my take my mind off it. I am. Shall we? Yes. Let's. <laughs> so first, I haven't used this one. I've been holding it. <laughs> that was really hard for me to use that. <laughs> I'm like, I must probably put it on and then take it off. <laughs> I mean, I'm not having it. <laughs> Oh dear, no. we will. We shall be generous. <laughs> right, I'm not wasting that number. <laughs> Let's go off a bit there. That is fine. That is okay. I'm liking that. Okay, so that's that one. I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut that off again. It just sits in there nice and goes the other way, which I like. Okay, that's that one done. There's a back, so that's going to be a nice tuck spot. And actually, that butterfly there, I had to do that this time, but it looks okay. Perhaps we put that one inside something. But I think because of this here, I just felt right there. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, didn't put any my numbers on. I actually don't think it needs anything else, to be honest. Maybe a little bit plain up here. Got everything going on. Need a little bit of stamp in there. Yeah. 
go. Join it in. <laughs> it was no gesso. Aren't I good? That was it's hard because I like my gesso, especially if I sort of don't like something, I can just gesso over it. <laughs> so but I've challenged myself today with no gesso. Still might put gesso on the last one though. <laughs> Yep. Okay. There's this one. See, it really lends itself to a butterfly here, doesn't it? Yeah. And I've got that memories there now. I know it would look a bit silly. But that's where I want my gesso, and then I want a butterfly there. <laughs> Uh, just leave it alone for a minute. Let's do this. Let's do the spritz. I've got some green pages in my journal actually, funnily enough, but um, I'm most probably, well, I've done, I've actually inked two of the pages. I've got to show you the last, I've, I've saved one signature to do, to show you what I do. But I've I've made mistakes in it purposely. I've gone heavy with the wrong colour and things like that because I want to do that to show you, you know, show you how to get away from it and how to overcome it. All right. Yeah, and don't forget if you haven't got. I mean, you know, I've used the micro powders. Okay, well, if you haven't got it and you've got sprays or you've made some, you know, and they're a little bit on the strong side, just dilute them, okay, either with the alcohol or, you know, Tim Holtz ones I do tend to do with water, so, because they are um, water-based anyway, the distress inks. It doesn't mean to say you can't put alcohol in them. <laughs> Right, let's have a look. What did we put on the front of that one? Ah, we used that other. I wonder if we got pinky flower or something. We've got plenty of half of blue ones. <laughs> Dissected the flower. So that might look quite nice. There for a change. I think I'm going to do that. There we go. Right, I found some more bits of that napkin to use. As it did go with this one. I couldn't find it. Right, what did I think? Um, I've got that bit there, which I thought would look nice. And then I had this odd bit here, which I thought I was going to uh, put up there. It's a little bit heavy. I might actually just cut that down a bit. Just a little bit too much, I think. Oh, it's quite fiddly. <laughs> Just, yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's put that on.
No idea what I'm going to do yet. Okay. Run out of space in my little pot by the side of me. Let's have a look, see what we got. I thought, oh, I'd use some, oh, I haven't inked that up. I've done the inking of all the bits. I haven't worked out yet what I'm gonna do. I won't be using all this. I won't be using that bit of blue there. It's a tiny bit of fry, because there's quite a big one there. We need to cover, don't really need to because it's actually quite nice. But I thought if that went there, that would cover that bit. I'm going to put that down first, I think. Uh, we don't need more lace, a bit similar to the other one, really. But yeah, Go something like that and that. Right, I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna commit, I think. Um, I think that's the Tim Holtz one. I think this one, I don't know, because I think I nabbed it off my sister. That one, so it might even be, you know, purchased one from years ago. I don't know. Looks like it's off of something, actually. We need a bit of blue, don't we? Or a bit of something, this colour. Um, hold on a minute. Let's have a look. Actually, I'll get some, uh, a bit of thread of something. That might work well. A little bit green. Not very much though. It's not the bluey green more than anything, I think. No, that doesn't look right. Just a little something. Because I've got one going that way, one going that way, <laughs> and that one's going that way, you see, slightly. So I tend to light to opposite, but that definitely looks right there. But I might have to stitch that one, put a bit more glue on, 
cover that join up. Don't like that. Let's have a look. Yeah, that'll be alright. Not perfect, but okay. <clears throat> I can find a little tiny butterfly at some point I would put a tiny butterfly there but I haven't got any handy you know a napkin one Let's have a look. that's fine no I'm gonna leave it alone it's fine and there and there yep and I think they go well with that so definitely blend in, you know, anywhere of those because you've got that colour over there, look. So this is the green, like I was telling you. You know, I am going to show you one, but I made sure I really went heavy in with the wrong colour but because I want to keep a bit of green match this but I'm gonna get rid of some of that with a bit of gesso so yeah and there as well I sort of really went in purposely yeah but they look good let's have a look at this one I think actually I'm gonna take a signature away I mean look so say if that I'm just saying for instance that's there so you've got that going there and then you've got a nice tuck spot on that side yeah so it's perfect all right okay well that's, that's those three done i hope you enjoyed that and I'm, like i say i'm going to keep this little video separate no i'm going to leave it okay right then thank you very much for watching and like i said i'm going to keep this little video separate on the envelopes and because you know it's time consuming but I don't, I don't mind, but that's because that's the way I work. And I might actually dish around. I'm not sure. No, I, d I don't actually have to do anything to those. I'm going to leave them well alone. <laughs> and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.